What's up guys? So today in this video what we're going to be going through is how to send emails to people not in your Airtable database. And so this is going to be a really quick, easy solution for you to do that and just set it up with your Airtable internal automations, not requiring Zapier, not requiring Integromat, not requiring any of the new ones that are trying to rip those tools off. This can be done just in Airtable. So without further ado, we'll get right to my intro, which if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green and I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do so we help business owners probably just like you help them optimize their information system. So unlocking all the power of Airtable for asset management, CRM, or something else, Asana for project management, Slack for communications, and Zapier to connect all the systems together that for stuff that can't be done natively in Airtable. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So I'm going to toss the glasses back on here, but I'm just going to give a really quick rundown of how you would do this. So you want to think about you you at this point you already know what email you want to send to somebody you just want to know how to do it for someone outside of your organization so you want to think what's going to be happening to trigger this so something that might be happening you might for example in this sales crm here you might have a new opportunity come in and you want to notify your sales team uh, and that's like maybe if you're not using some of these other tools like slack or your project management where it would auto automate to that and automatic, automatically add tasks, or automatically send a message in Slack. But for this example, maybe you have a new opportunity or maybe you have a updated contact or you have new tasks for someone and they're not in this space. Well, you can set up an automation for that. So if it's a new opportunity, it would be a new record in the opportunities table. If it's a updated contact, it would be an updated record and we can see that in all these triggers over here. So this is going to be send email to outside of org. So if it was a updated contact, it would be when record is updated. If it was a new task, it would be uh, when a record is created in the tasks. That matches certain conditions because you would want it to be two specific people unless you're keeping track of only one person's tasks in the task table. So we're just going to go really simple when a record is created in this opportunities table. So that's just going to be the most simple one. So when we get a new opportunity in our opportunities table, we maybe we'll send an email to the head of our sales team so that that person can pick whoever is going to be the sales lead for that opportunity. And so right there, what I just did was I came over here, I added a new automation. And then I came into that automation and then for the trigger, I chose when a record is created and then I just chose the table. So you can go all, all the way into the specifics and set up the filters if you want to do when a record matches certain conditions. But basically you just want to set all of that up just as I did up until now. Um, if you're doing this exact scenario, use your trigger for whatever you want to trigger off of. Now for the add action, what you're going to do is if you don't have Gmail and you don't have Outlook, then you can use Airtable send email. But I'm gonna just use Gmail send email right here. So I would come in here and select my Gmail account. And so I'd choose that one. Then for this, what you would do is you would enter the emails with comma separated. So a lot of times people, and like this is usually the right way to do it to make the emails dynamic on the sender. You would pull in like their email from like a lookup field from their account, which would be a lookup field from the contact. And that would be like the perfect way to do it to send it to the client. But maybe we just want to send every new one of these to the to the same person. So what you can do is you can like what's called hard code it in here. And that just means you type it in. It's static data. So if I type in my email, that is technically hard coded in there. Whereas if I pulled in data from like step one in here, so if I pulled in data from this table, from this record that it triggered off of, then that would be dynamic because for every automation that would change versus static, it stays the same. So something important to note, if you do have more than one email, it says separate multiple emails with commas. So in here, I would put a comma and then put like the next one. So test at test.com. Then the next one would be test one at test.com. So, so on and so forth, you can do that. Then if you also have dynamic emails that you wanna pull in here, you can add another comma. And I don't think we have any emails that would be good to go on this example, but what you can do, yeah, we do not have any good ones. But what you can then do is you can pull in 
So we'll, we'll pretend one of these is the email field. So if we come in here and we'll, pr we'll pretend that the, um, the status is the email. So if it, pretend that's like a lookup field off of one of those linked records. If you want to include dynamic and static data, you can do that. And so you'd come into the status and you would find where it has like the, it would be the emails. So it'd be at emails that are comma separated in here. So you would then insert like the name version of those. And then it would pull in those emails too from that, li that lookup record. So, and then you can obviously do like the normal subject message, whatever, mess whatever data you want to pull in from the record, you can do that with the subject and message and whatever you want to like make static to have be the same in every message, you can do that as well. So you can be like new opportunity colon BPS pilot or new cop new opportunity colon whatever the opportunity name is. So I hope that was helpful. And this is a really common automation for people to use in their business, but an even more common and an even more streamlined automation than this is to do this with Slack. And I've helped a lot of teams get set up with Slack to have better internal communication. Um, and if you're interested in anything like that, you can check out the link in the description or request a consultation from me or someone on my team but I would highly encourage you to go check out this video right here. It's on how, instead of how to automate uh, email to somebody, it's how to automate and really just connect Airtable and Slack. So it will show you how to send messages and channels, how to do all of that in that video. So just go click the end screen right in the end of, or right in the middle of this video right now. And it'll take you right to that video and you'll learn all about how to connect Airtable and Slack. And Slack is just gonna be a game changer in your business. It's gonna take it to the next level. Uh, I, I can't say enough great things about it, much better than Discord. It's like, especially if you have a remote team, an integration between Airtable and Slack is just gonna blow your mind. So I think could you go check that out. Without further ado, have a great day and I'll see you there.